Here we have six different colorful solutions. We have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. So all of the colors. And we've moved them into beakers and into cuvettes. And I'm going to analyze them using a spectrophotometer. So the way that a spectrophotometer works is a SpectraVis Plus from Vernier. As a white light is shown through your sample. So if I rotate this, you can see the white light coming out of here. And that white light goes through whatever it's passing through and then gets detected over here so we can see what colors of light are being absorbed and which ones are transmitting through the, through the solution. So if we go ahead and take a red solution here and hit play, this is going to show us of all the different colors which ones are being absorbed and which ones are being transmitted. So let's go ahead and zoom in. can see that nicely. So if we hit stop here, what we see is, is that we have kind of a peak right in that green-blue barrier. And so we're seeing a lot of green being absorbed, a lot of blue being absorbed, a little bit of violet, and then mostly your red, orange, and violet are getting transmitted through the, through the solution here. Now we're going to go ahead and take that out. We're going to put in the orange solution. We'll hit play again. And so now we see that purple is the biggest absorption, some blue is being absorbed, and we're seeing a lot of red, orange, and yellow being transmitted through the solution. Go ahead and take that out, we're going to put yellow in. Okay, so for yellow this is a little more dilute, so we'll hit stop so we can see this a little better. So we're seeing again a lot of purple being absorbed, some blue, and then really not much of anything else is being absorbed, everything else is being transmitted through the solution. Okay, we'll do green next. Okay, and for green we see some purple being absorbed, and we see some red into the orange region, they're also being absorbed. So we're seeing green transmitted, maybe a little blue, a little yellow and then the other colors on the end are being absorbed. Okay. For blue, so for blue we're seeing a lot of absorption in the red. It looks like it's getting a little fuzzy there, but we're getting a lot of red absorption, a little bit of orange, a little bit of yellow, and then our blue is being transmitted, a little bit of purple being absorbed, but mostly being transmitted, a lot of green being transmitted. All right, and our final one is the violet solution. And so here in the violet, we see a lot of absorption in green, a lot in yellow, and then that quickly tapers off, there's a little bit of orange and a little bit of red there being absorbed, but mostly red is being transmitted, and most of the violet is being transmitted as well. Now from that, we can then zoom out and start to ask ourselves, what is it that all of these solutions have in common that allows them to absorb light the way that they do, and then also to look at the color scheme. So when a solution is yellow, what's being absorbed, what's being transmitted? Now this is cobalt nitrate, iron 3 nitrate, potassium ferrocyanide, nickel acetate, copper 2 acetate, and potassium permanganate. So we're looking at cobalt, iron, iron, nickel, copper, and manganese. And what do all of those have in common that allows them to have these particular colors? And then additionally, what's going on electronically that's causing these particular colors of light to be seen by us? And what's going on in this machine in terms of what's being seen and what's being absorbed? 